I will say that I have three passions, and that's technology, entrepreneurship, and women leadership. And Officer of Ideal Technology and founder of Women in Tech Africa, Madam Ethel Kofi. Welcome. Thank and you thanks so much for joining me. So I learned how to sell, how to pitch ideas working at Vodafone Ghana. This past May at the Meltwater Entrepreneurial School of Technology, a dynamic incubator in Accra, Ghana. My name is Ethel Kofi. I am CEO of Adele Technology Consulting. Um, Adele Technology Consulting has been uh, a 15 year dream of mine, uh, which has come into fruition. Um, personally, I've had um, over 15 years experience in the technology field. So I started out as a developer, rose through the ranks uh, to become a business analyst, to work in products management and to work in IT consulting. Um, my last corporate job before actually starting Adult Technology Consulting was as head of commercial solutions for Vodafone Ghana. Adult Technology Consulting was built on the premise that business and technology go hand in hand. And technology is the competitive advantage of business. With technology, any business, any company, anywhere in the world can compete and leapfrog their partners. And so that's, that's the ethos of adult technology. So for our clients that we've worked with over the years, um, including the World Bank, um, including uh, Dalex Financial Services, which is a, a Ghana Club 100 company. Uh, we've worked with um, Bex Engineering, which is the sole boast distributor in Ghana. Take Dalex, for instance. So Dalex initially is just like every microfinance organization. What makes Dalex different? Dalex Swift. Dalex Swift means that they are able to serve over 15,000 clients all over the world with their specialized Dalex Swift, which a lot of other microfinance companies cannot do. It means that they can disperse loans up until any time of the night because they are using mobile money. That is what technology does and that's what we built our business on. Dalex first dealt with adult technology a couple of years back and at that time we were a growing institution. We are still a growing institution. We wanted an agency that will combine professionalism and yet will give us the sort of attention that we needed. Dealing with Edel was, 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 was excellent. It was great. The, 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 the staff were very professional. The consulting team came in, did what they had to do, gave us feedback, managed the project well, and, and left us feeling that, wow, this would have cost us a lot more and to get this quality of work, it will most probably have to come from outside the shores of Ghana. It was a pleasant, pleasant, pleasant experience working with Edel Technology. Adult Technology Consulting has had an incredible journey this year. We've grown in terms of size, so we've hired more, but also we are doing very interesting and technically different projects. So one of the projects we're doing at the moment is with the United States Africa Development Fund, USADF. According to the International Labour Organization, by year 2050, 40% of the world's workforce is going to be in Africa. How are we preparing to host or to have the world's largest workforce? Um, in collaboration with the USADF, we are building what we call a micro-working platform. What are we doing? We are reinventing work. It means that when a company in any part of the world can take a large task, break it into different micro-tasks, and anybody with a mobile phone anywhere in the world can do that task. I think their growth has been very impressive and fast, I must say, because I believe that fast in the sense that if you're efficient, you grow fast. And since they've been very effective and efficient, based on my um, businesses that I've done with them, um, I think they're growing pretty well. So one of the things that we do very differently from everybody else is that when we go to a client, our team sits within the client's premises. We sit and understand the client's business. When we understand what you do, we can see the places where technology can begin to add value. So it doesn't become a matter of you need an e-commerce system or 
we can we can sit with you and find ways in which you can be more efficient. So one of our mantras, and we tell all our clients is, we build we build software that enables you to create a new revenue stream, or to lower your operational cost. Otherwise, we don't build it. I was really impressed with Ethel, the lead consultant, and she spoke my language. She understood the solution, and I, I believe that we shared a similar vision for where we wanted to take Delex IT to. And that's why we chose Edo. I'm mostly impressed by their weekly or bi-weekly and monthly reports. If you give them a job, they keep giving you information on how far they've gotten to. They meet their deadlines and then you are with them throughout the journey of the job. I have been named one of the top uh, five IT women shaping the course of technology in Africa. Um, and the company itself has been named one of the 100 globally competitive startups in Ghana. We've come very far. I believe Edel Technology is going to win this award because they deserve it. And it also goes on to say that entrepreneurs out there can still push their dreams and win awards just like Edel Technology has. Edel must be awarded because first and foremost, they deserve it. They are a professional company. The attention to detail is remarkable. They are as professional as any other company that you've dealt with worldwide. So they must be awarded because they are here. They are local, they meet global standards. And they are new, they are innovative. That's why they must be awarded. Adult Technology Consulting is the future of technology in Africa. We're not just building your normal B2B. We are being innovative. We are looking beyond the normal. We are building things that do not exist yet. In terms of technology, we will take African businesses with us in, in terms of growth. Right? We will begin to see differences in how businesses do things.